Welcome back to Unidyne Moves. My name is Paul Sharnot, Senior Wellness Coordinator in Albany, New York. Today we're going to talk about balance. Uh, as we increase in age, what we see is a decrease in our neuromuscular system, which means the brain's ability to communicate with our nervous system and our muscles. And what our goal really is to get them to communicate in sync and all together. So today we're gonna to have a few exercises for you to show you to help with this process. If you've ever had an injury in the past and haven't totally rehabbed it totally, you'll see that sometimes you injure like an ankle, for example. Sometimes you'll injure, if you injure the right side, you may re-injure that or have a higher probability. Just because your brain, if you're stepping off a curb, it may not know where your foot actually is. Your foot may actually be turned a little bit and you don't even realize it. And then snap, pop, crackle, you have another injury. So a few exercises, there'll be a couple before we get started. A couple things, safety. Um, we always talk about safety. So what we're using today, I'm using a couple um, stools, but you can just use one chair if you want in your office. Try to get something that's sturdy and that um, won't move around on you. Just something you can hang on to. Um, these are some pretty basic exercises to start with, but at least it'll get you going. So let's get started. A um, couple other things we have for you is we're calling this Balance Training 101. So this is our log sheet. On this log sheet, you can put the date. There's the three exercises that are on here that we're going to go through. And then you also, what you do is you log your time and how much time you put. Your time commitment to this to get all three of these done. Um, some you do on both sides, of course. Um, is going to be about two to three minutes when you start. And as you progress along, it may get the max will be like eight to 10 minutes. So it's eight to 10 minutes out of your life, prevent a lot of injuries down the road. Okay, so let's put this down um, over First here. exercise we're gonna start with, we call it side by side. Very simple. We're gonna review some of our posture principles. Carly did them seated, we're gonna do standing today. So side by side, it means both feet are side by side. If you look down my toes, I put some fluorescent tape on there, right down there. And you can see that it's gonna help give you a little more visual. As I am doing longer. this with shoes and on a rug today. Um, not the best spot, I would recommend barefoot and on a hard surface. So you get the proprioceptors in your feet to fight a little bit more. Um, but most of us are not running around barefoot these days. So, okay, so side by side, we're gonna bring one hand up here. If you can, if you need to hang on to it with the other hand, you can, otherwise bring both hands up. This is our upper cross chest position we're gonna stay in. Um, posture checks, like a string coming right through your head, pulling you straight up, chin comes back, ears over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, hips right over your knees, and then your feet should be into the floor, into the ground. Toes a little bit forward, but mainly back on the heels. Cross it over. We'll do each of the three exercises. I want you to try it with one eye closed. And what you're gonna try is find a focus point. What I recommend is maybe a piece of tape or some landmark in your office or at your desk you can lock onto. Try one eye and close for about 10 seconds. Try the other eyes closed. Then your goal is to build where you actually have both eyes closed. So you can start here with your hands right here. All right, a little bit of safety and support. Close both eyes. Try to take your hands off and hold that position. If you need to open an eye, just go back and review it. That's the first exercise, side by side. Your goal is to get up to about a minute, one minute for each of these exercises. Next one is called semi-tandem. Uh, let's put our left foot forward and our right foot, uh, big toes can go right in the instep, okay? So we're in semi-tandem. So if you see, my feet are kind of staggered here. Most of the weight for this exercise is gonna be in your back heel. So you'll feel your glute firing. If you don't put your hand right on it, you'll feel that glute. You wanna feel that, but that's gonna hold you up and stabilize you. Hands again, start here on either your benches or a chair. Bring one hand up. When you feel comfortable, bring the other second hand up. Hold your posture position, lock onto that focal point. Visualize it, try closing an eye. Good, alternate, try the other eye. You make funny faces when you do that. And then both eyes if you feel really comfortable. If you feel uncomfortable, you can always have a spotter. The spotter should be behind you. Or you, my spotter's the wall today, so I'll fall backwards in the wall. You can always feel safe doing that. Um, this isn't a trust challenge today. So, And then your hands can always go down as well. All right, so you would switch your feet and do the other side as well. Mark it on your chart, left or right. 
And then the last one is our tandem position. So the right foot's gonna go all the way forward. The left foot in this case, is gonna go all the way forward. All right, your other foot's gonna be back. You can see it. We put the heel right to your big toe in the back foot. Again, most of the weight should be in your back foot. Again, the, again, the glutes firing. Hold that in. Abs are drawn in this time a little harder. Chest is forward, shoulders are back. One arm over, one arm over. Hold this position, lock on. Now this one you may feel a little wobbly. What you want to do is you want to feel the nervous system trying to fire and correct you. This is called your center of mass. You're going to try to hold that in one position and you want that movement. As you get more advanced and progressive, this is too easy, you can try a pillow in your home. They also make half rollers. They make Eric's pads. And I can help you with that if you want some more advanced stuff. Just feel free to email down here at my email and I'll send you some more advanced exercises. So that's it for today. You got three exercises. Your goal is to build to a minute for each exercise. When you get the minute done, you can do that with your eyes closed. Then email me or call me and we'll get you some more advanced exercises. Till that, hope you had a great day and I'll see you next month on Unidine Moves. See you soon.